What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to Into the Geekverse. This is San Diego Comic Con Day One, uh, Wednesday. I think we're exhausted. Yeah, we're very. Uh, exhausted. This is Phil uh, Roffins. Uh, that that that's the name you want to go by, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, Roffins is going to be your Twitch name when you eventually start one. Yes, it is. Okay. And of course, I'm Zach Pope. Uh, movie, TV, games. We're exhausted, guys. But I still want to give you guys a San Diego Comic Con Day One preview. Uh, this is going to be a short episode because tomorrow is yeah. our big day. Well, yeah. the start of our big day. Deadpool and Wolverine. Mm-hmm. We're going to the special panel where they're hopefully going to show the movie. Yeah, I hope so, too. It would be a really yeah. big banger to have that happen. In Hall H especially. Yeah, exactly. And, and then we're what, going to... 3,000 people? 3,200, I think, is what can be sat in there. Ooh. So to get those excitements and everything like that, I'm very excited. So our, we won't have technically a day two podcast we'll just have a spoiler review on here okay and then that'll be on the normal zach pope channel but also uh just for tomorrow we're also going to go to the transformers panel Mm -hmm. we're going to do a couple more activations but in general like for day one this was a solid day one if you ask me yeah it was pretty good yeah we drove from arizona so five and a half hours technically six hours because they had a road closure um that just went by in a blur and then we get to the airbnb and it's a solid airbnb i would I say i so, know i like it it's nice i and do cozy. too it's cozy it's cute uh it's, the AC it's works the ac works which is a blessing if you've yes. ever been to san diego sometimes airbnbs do not have uh air conditioning i think what the last two airbnbs we've had out here did not have air conditioning. You know what? That is true. Like, think about it. Like, yeah. the first one that we ever went to with uh, Cinemaniacs, mm-hmm. uh, Leo, Dwayne, Alyssa, the AC wasn't working. And then the last one we did with my wife and my sister-in-law, mm-hmm. the AC also was not working there, correct? Yeah. It was stuffy in there. And this one is, it's nice in here, we man. got two separate ones. Yeah, we got two separate AC units. But uh, I think we need to talk about day one, man. So yeah. we, we get out of the Airbnb. We go to Comic-Con and we meet up with, according to Seth, who is an awesome TikToker, podcaster, journalist in this movie field. This was your first time technically ever meeting him yeah. uh shout out to him he's awesome he's gonna come on the podcast no he's a really sweet dude he, he's sweet he's nice uh he's encouraging highly mm-hmm. recommend you guys go follow him on all platforms again it's court according to seth but other than that we we waited in line with him and his crew mm-hmm. and his crew was very nice as well yeah to go to the preview night of walking the convention floor and we get to there waiting in line Got our Comic Con badges, we or bags. We got one right here. If you're watching the video version, it's just here. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't really care for it. It has Family, family guy, guy on the back. Oh boy! I, I don't really care. I wanted the Simpsons one, but whatever. <laughs> um, I I never get the bag I want, and I just end up what I gave one away already. <laughs> yeah. We had two, so we end up you know going to the convention, and we'll have a vlog too, uh, probably after all the days put together once Phil edits it. Yes, that is right. That is my duty this trip. Yes. Uh, it was busy. It, it really was, was way busier than any other year I've been on preview night. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was like insane. Like I felt like it was really hard to navigate the floor. Um, There's a lot of cool stuff. We didn't buy a single thing. No. Uh, the things I wanted to buy, it's like you get to the end of the line and they're like, Oh, this isn't the end of the line. The end of the line's all the way over there. And I look yeah. and I'm like, ah, it's not worth it. Like I wanted the, I don't even know. Did you see the black and white Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures I wanted really badly? Oh yeah, I did see you peek out Yeah, them. they were like classic old school figures and I've been wanting them. And I saw that line and I'm like, you know, I'm going to have to wait probably an hour and a half in that line. Mm. Then I'm going to have to spend $30 per turtle. <laughs> At that point, is it worth my time? Yeah. No. And I think the same thing kind of goes like we were trying to go to the Funko one when you were going to the bathroom. I was trying to look for the end of the line there. And I've just kept sitting there and I'm like, it's not worth it. Yeah. What is worth it, though, is just walking the floor and getting to talk to a lot of the smaller booths, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Um, What was like some of your favorites? So my favorite was 
we stopped by this lady. I forgot what her name was. The guy who was like dressed all fancy, like told me her name, but I couldn't hear him. Uh-huh. But it was like those really nice, fancy canvas paintings that we saw. Oh, the, um, the Kingdom saw, Hearts one. The Kingdom Hearts. And then my favorite was um, there was like a Robin Hood one. The Robin Hood one was Robin awesome. Robin was a bear. And I was like, dude, that is so cool. I love that. They had a cool Steamboat Willie one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I almost bought not the actual painting of it, but the canvas thing of the Kingdom Hearts one. It looked yeah. so freaking well, cool. The real one or whatever was like fifty five, fifty five thousand dollars, <laughs> fifty five. I wish I had that money. Yeah, same. They, they look so realistic though, mm-hmm. and so beautiful. I do agree that was cool. Uh, the puppet one was cool too. Mm-hmm. I like that one. We met yeah. some girl who like turns all different characters into puppets. Yeah, it was so really if you're cool. a Muppet fan, definitely go find her. Um, I'm trying to think, they had no Blizzard on the floor this year. I didn't get to no see Blizzard. limited run games. That was the one I was looking for. But they I, had I Marvel over there. With, the Marvel. Um, I liked going around the Marvel. I really liked the outro with the big screen playing X Men '97. They were playing mm-hmm. the Gambit and Rogue episode. If you know, you know. The best episode of television this year is that episode they were playing. Mm-hmm. Dude, I know you have not watched X Men '97 yet. Did you watch the original X Men animated show? When I was like way little. Yeah. And, Did you um, like it though? I mean, it was cool. I mean, I was yeah. a little kid. I didn't understand any of it. Dude, you got to watch the I new show. I was like show. three years old. You got to watch the new show. I just remember seeing Cyclops shooting lasers out of his eyes. Yeah. And I was like, that's the coolest character ever. Cyclops is awesome in that show. But dude, that episode like that you were recording with the vlog was so cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I The, the they, reason I had us walk away though is because if you did watch I didn't want you to see what was coming next because oh, okay. it was a spoiler okay. and I, I did not want you to see that moment um because it's, it's it's worth watching its capacity that episode because mm-hmm. it's very emotional and it's awesome uh they did also have a separate area with a booth for the new marvel's video game that's coming out marvel rivals um, oh yeah, the, yeah i saw people playing that that yeah, looked cool they were testing it they were playing on pc that yeah. i saw so they had a lot of costumes too which was cool mm-hmm. they had the new captain america suit with the masks, which was epic. They had two separate suits, I'm guessing. Yeah, so I don't, I, I'm not well versed I, I don't know anymore. much on that either. I, I'm guessing once probably for the start of the film, once for the end of the film. Yeah. Did you notice, though, when we walked around the back, they had the new Marvel logo on the back end? Mm-mm. It was like a multiverse logo. So you saw Miles Morales, Deadpool and Wolverine, X-Men 97. It looked really cool. Oh, if you remind cool. me, I'll show you a picture when we're yeah. done. It was it was cool. We saw some more Deadpool and Wolverine suits, and then we actually saw the suits from the movie in there, yeah. which, looking at the Wolverine one up close, you just kind of get giddy around it. Yeah. I got some pretty cool B-roll footage. For, I saw that, that yeah. So it I'm looked excited. really good. So that was awesome going through there. Um, I feel like we maybe could have gone a little bit more through the convention floor. Maybe we'll try and find time later in the weekend. But overall, I feel like I got my satisfaction. Like, yeah. a lot of it is the same booths. There's a lot of cool stuff. Nothing that really stuck out to me completely that I needed to buy. It's just really cool to see everything. Oh, you know what else was cool? The Cyberpunk booth. Oh, yeah. They That's had... A, yeah, you, you so, talk about it. Yeah, I was going to say. So, they have... Uh, what's the company? Is it Nikana? Nik- yeah, something like that. Yeah, the Nikani know. sword yeah. or something from the video game. The And Skippy has, the Gun. Yeah, Skippy the Gun. It was actual, like working gel blaster pistol which was really cool and, I, just I, and, and they were like only a hundred bucks yeah 150 for the skippy pistol. i would buy that for 150 for a i'd buy working that working gel blaster yeah pistol. with all the stuff that comes in that box that's a yeah. really good collectible no, so cyberpunk a, fans look for that i think anyone can buy it because they weren't selling it there you mm-hmm. can buy it on their website from reddit uh Red, what is it project what's their project CD project Red. cd project Red. yeah you can just buy it from their site and then uh, the other thing that I saw is that there was this person who did those Fallout paintings. Yes, that, that was, really, was cool. really cool. They have a lot of cool paintings. I feel like they're there every year mm-hmm. uh, with the Star Wars ones, but that Fallout one really stuck out. Dude, when you went to the bathroom, I f- saw a Fallout poster, and I completely forgot to show you it. Oh. And then I saw it on Twitter, so I need to show you it. It's cool. It's like orange, and it's like the atomic blasts in the back, and it's just a power armor suit melded into the wall. Oh, like, that's it, like, super cool. Dude, it, it's sick. The one we saw though i thought was still I know. the overall cooler I would love to one have the huge version of that she had it on the back wall there. should get it I've, treat yourself yeah dude you have room $3, on your walls 000. was it three thousand dollars but it was the big one the big 
the really big one that I saw. The second you just said the big one, you know what I thought of? What? Sid from Toy Story when he goes, the big one <laughs> with the rocket. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so we walked the floor. It was pretty cool. But then we had an appointment to go to the Paramount Lodge, which is an activation off-site. And I feel that Paramount blows it out of the park every single mm-hmm. year with this. I think Paramount has a lot of the coolest stuff. I think they understand what fans want. And uh, it was cool. I liked it more yeah. this year personally. What yeah, about they, you? They treat you really well when you go to the Paramount Lounge. Um, when we Lodge, got, Lodge. I think lodge. we keep saying lounge and it's Lounge. lodge. Yeah. yeah, Lodge, Lodge, Lodge. lodge. The Paramount a, Lodge. Yeah. But... Um, they give you like free drinks. They got some pretty pizza cool too, stuff. which we pizza. didn't, we get, didn't pizza, get pizza. Sadly, pizza. they ran out of pizza. But they had like a whole like Ninja Turtle section where there yeah. it's like a diner, and there was like two dudes like screaming at the arcade. Yeah, they were playing the old school yeah, Ninja Turtles Ninja, Ninja arcade Ninja Turtles. game. So they had some pretty cool stuff, and then you get the complimentary drinks. Um, not only was the drinks the Ninja were really Turtle good. Area Just as a there, shout out, the drinks were really yeah, good. Yeah, the drinks were really good. Um, it was SpongeBob's 25th birthday, so the whole thing's hey, just... Hey, no, 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 you didn't say it right. It's SpongeBob's 25th birthday, but we have to say it as, what's funnier than 24? <laughs> 25. Yes! <laughs> no, dude, but, they, yeah, that was cool. Um, they you had go a jellyfish whole, hunting there. Yeah, the there was like a jellyfish hunting section. Um, when you go to the actual lodge area, mm-hmm. they had a whole like photo shoot for the movie If... Yes, which, which is uh, super adorable. Yeah. I never seen the movie. It looked really cute, though. It yeah, was like nice, I liked it a lot. Yeah. I, I li- it kind of got some slack because it was like a little darker than like most family films would be. But like, mm-hmm. I think we forget that like in most Disney animated films, the parents die like in the beginning every time. So like, yeah, why are we uh, getting sad over that? You know? Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I thought that was then, cute. Uh, there was also ghosts. I don't know what the hell that show is, yeah. but it, it was cool. Like Remember? the locale, they had the criminal minds thing. Remember how mm-hmm. I put up the thing? We took that. We took the picture. The uh, I did the slot machine for Tulsa King. Uh, they had the Dexter thing in there with the black light. Remember how that, yeah. that girl was taking a photo. They had a Star Trek thing to get like t-shirts. Uh, you get a fake tattoo there. Mm-hmm. Um, it was really crowded in there. Uh, I think that was like my only issue with the activation overall. Um, it didn't seem as crowded the last time we went. But Which, but the only thing I'll say is that the last time we went, everyone was over in the bar area. Yeah. Where, like, I feel like everyone was trying to do the SpongeBob jellyfish thing this time. Yeah. So, Which crowded that front room so much. Yeah. Last year, the, the bar area was obviously the bar. So everyone's and everyone just wants a there. drink and, and everything like uh, that. They had the tattoos there. So everyone yeah. was lined up for the tattoos. Exactly. Where this year, it w- Overall, I think I liked it more this year. I like the design yeah. of it all. It just it did feel a little bit more crowded, which was probably again because everyone wants to go jellyfish hunting with yeah. SpongeBob. So it was cool. I, I liked it. I, I if I were to give it a rating, uh, eight out of ten. Yeah, I I agree with that. Yeah, an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. It, no, eight point five. Because 8. last 5. year I would have given it an eight, mm-hmm. but this year I'd give it an eight point five. So I liked it. I always recommend the Paramount Lodge. So if you are at San Diego Comic Con, I highly recommend you go try and get into it. Uh, the line was really long. Uh, yeah. We got we got lucky enough to do press work for it, but highly recommend it. If you want to see a walkthrough of it for some of it that I could film, uh, I'll have it over on our TikTok Instagram. Yeah, I'm sure we could YouTube also short. probably split some of my B roll. It'll probably go into there into yeah. your vlog as well, I assume. So, yeah. but then after that, we kind of just walked. Just looked around at other things like I, you and me, like kind of getting a low down of like where everything's at. Mm-hmm. Uh, we saw some Borderlands uh, psychopaths walking around, which it's like funny because they're handing out magazines. But I'm like, how about you hand me out tickets to go to the bar that you guys are going to have? Know, right? Oh, we also saw the little claptrap on the oh, San Diego yeah. Comic Con floor. That was cool. Yeah, at the, the bar. Borderlands. I'm shocked no one was in line to take a picture there. I know. That like, was, that's like one of the bigger IPs that was there. It was no a bigger was IP. And it was a huge photo shoot. Mm-hmm. And even if people aren't excited for the movie, because I don't think the movie looks good, I'm excited for it because that's Borderlands and I want to hope it's good. Yeah. You would assume that people would be excited for that. Yeah. I don't know. It was kind of weird, but I'm, I am I mean, I'm not going to complain because we got a cool picture mm-hmm. behind the bar. Um, Moxie's bar, which is Moxie's cool. bar. So I'm hoping we can get into that tomorrow or the day after this is posted. If not, what? So, but yeah, so we walked around a little bit more. And then we got dinner at like nine o'clock. Yeah, like nine o'clock. But like other than that, we saw some Dragon Ball. 
We saw some Hulu animation thing, which we're going to do tomorrow. That yeah. looks really cool. Yeah, it was FX. way bigger. I mean, tomorrow is like this was kind of like the beginning of everything. Like yeah. it's the calm before the storm, even if we already walked. 15, I was going to say miles. you were mentioning earlier about how like crowded it was this year. And I'm just sitting here thinking, I'm like, shit, it's only really Wednesday. Yeah, it's only Wednesday. <laughs> but I wonder if it will be less crowded. Well, tomorrow we're not really going to the convention hall, so yeah. I'm not too worried about it being crowded. I'm curious, though, if, like, you know, again, panels start opening up tomorrow and more things open up to do, activations and things like that. Is that kind of help the crowd, you know, navigate? Because last year, did we go to the convention floor for preview night? Yeah, we did, right? For preview night, yeah. I don't think we did. did I we thought not? we arrived like a day later. Like no, that was the first Thursday. year we went. That was the first year we went. Yeah. Last year we did come on a Wednesday. I do okay. remember that. So maybe we were just late. I don't know. Anyways, uh, other than that, I think that's a good part to click this out. So the, our next episode will be a Deadpool and Wolverine spoiler review. Uh, make sure to go see the movie. Uh, the non-spoiler review for me is already up on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, all of those. Um, other than that, Phil, uh, are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, it's look forward to it. Yeah, look forward to the rest of our coverage. We're gonna have a lot. Honestly, it's kind of stressing me out. But make sure to follow us all over on social medias. That way, you are up to date. But other than that, I'm signing off. I'm ready to go to bed. So yeah, me too. All I'm right, tired. guys, Be stay great. classy.